Today, I'll be showing you just how you can maximize this stack of sticky notes. Instead of making boring old sticky note reminders, fold them up like this as a stand sign. It even makes for a great simple decoration. Personally, I hate small calendars, so these big sticky note ones come at an advantage. But at the same time, that's a lot of sticky note wasted. Now moving on to some more note-taking and studying-based ideas. If you ever make mistakes while taking notes, just use sticky notes to rewrite them instead of wasting a bunch of whiteout. It also gives your notes a pop of color, especially as titles. And if you ever run out of space when note-taking, use a sticky note to add more info. Honestly, I had a lot of fun with this. To study for geography, place smaller pieces of sticky notes on each location and uncover the location once you've memorized it. I used this technique to study maps in my history class, and it worked like a visual flashcard. Timelines are super annoying when you have new information to add in. Sticky notes allow you to move them around, so next time make a timeline with sticky notes instead of paper. On paper. Next up are ideas for bookworms. Ever find brilliant quotes from a book, write them down and stick them on your wall. Make it a habit to write vocabulary from a book down on a sticky note while reading to search them up later. Cause it can double as a bookmark. The best thing about square paper is that you can make origamis with them. Here's a tutorial on how to make a fox bookmark. If you want the bookmark to stick on your notebook, face the sticky side up. But I chose to have my non-sticky side facing up. Fold the sticky note down a third way. This will be where the nose is. Fold it in half vertically. From there, fold a diagonal line that reaches from this cross section to the top right corner. Repeat on the other side. Fold the origami back so the horizontal line aligns and create a sharp fox ear. Repeat. And there you go. Add a face on the fox to make it cuter. Instead of flipping through each chapter, mark them with a sticky note. If a chapter in your textbook is too long, write an outline and take notes from there. A chapter summary can then give you the main ideas of the chapter after reading. It'll be great for review. For me, I have a lot of questions when reading a material. Whether it is questions for clarity, on biased opinions, or just of curiosity, write them down so you don't have to interrupt your workflow. Ever see those really cute study reminders? You can make one tailored to your own needs. Next up are for projects. Create a project outline whenever you receive your project instructions. A sticky note is bright colored and small so you can capture the most important information while adding color to an assignment. Create a list of due dates to guide your project. Try to set these a day before the actual due date so you get a grace period if you're behind. If you have a lot of paper from a project, unit, test, or at the end of the year, batch them. Orient the sticky side of the sticky note sideways, stick it on, then carefully fold it backwards. Add a title, and your teacher will call you organized. And here goes some lists you can make. Shopping list. To-do list. Pomodoro to-dos. Basically, I find it helpful to write down what I'm gonna do within a 25 minute time frame when I do homework. Distractions list. Many times I come up with the greatest questions and ideas while doing other tasks. Keeping a distraction list really helps me. On this list, you can write questions, ideas, to do's, to plan, and other note to selves. That's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the button down below for my future videos. Anyways, bye!